Hi everybody, my name's Dave. I also go by the name Bibbs. Of course you know that. You go on my website, you see Bibbs Passion Oil. I infuse oil. I infuse extra virgin olive oil and a little ways down the road I decided to do safflower oil mainly because of the benefits, the health benefits of safflower oil and extra virgin olive oil are almost identical. Plus the fact that safflower oil has a, a higher flash point. I have my own product line. I have Bibbs, Bibbs six pack, as you can see over here. These are my Marasca bottles, Dorica, the five ounce, five ounce woozy, the small woozy, and this is my safflower oil lineup right here. I don't do a lot of oil at one time, and the reason for that is because the shelf life on oil is kind of limited. You don't really want to go past 18 to 20 months on it. After that point in time, it will, as I've been told by experts, it could enter a stage of rancidity. So we want to eliminate that. I make small batches, usually a gallon at a time. It's a lot more labor intensive to do it that way. More time intensive, because if it wasn't for the rancidity issue, I could make up batch after batch after batch and just stockpile it. I don't want to do that. You're worth the best that I'm capable of producing. I use mainly dried dehydrated spices. They're the highest quality that I can find. The garlic that I use is California grown garlic. I tried tr Chinese garlic. Uh, it has a nice smell to it, but nothing beats the depth and intensity of California grown garlic. When I do a batch of oil, I put my oil in a pot, I add my spices to it, I bring it up to temperature, I time it, it steeps for a period of time, a rather lengthy period of time, and that allows the spices to intermingle and to marry into the oil. Some of my oils I use a touch of essential oil and that really gives it that hard hit and it's, it's, uh, it really brings out the flavor, the full flavor of the oil that I like to produce. Um, I've been doing this unofficially probably 35 years. Officially, since I built my little kitchen, since I got the graces of the state and my, my business permit, my license to get this thing up and going, uh, it's been about a year and I'm picking up more customers all the time. People love my oil. I've sent out dozens of samples. Some of them have turned into orders. It's a slow process. It takes a while for the word to get out there. I, I can't say enough I love doing what I'm doing and I hope to be able to do this for some time well into the future. I'm also hoping that I can bring my son on board with me. He's been a chef for 22 years and I actually showed him the basics of culinary when he was coming up when he was a young boy. So I'm not a chef by trade. As a matter of fact, I'm a retired correction officer slash welder. I've been a welder for a long time. I've built custom bikes, Harleys and Triumphs. And the picture that you see on my bottles of oil is me when I was 29 years old. My wife took that picture of me when we were at Raystown Dam in Huntington, Pennsylvania. And it was a special day. It was a day that I don't forget. So I reflect back on that time and because of the fact that it was such a good time in my life, I decided that I wanted that picture, that snapshot in time, to reflect me as to who I am and what I am and to introduce my oil. I can honestly say that I'm doing better now than I realized I would do when I first got started in this venture. Uh, the word is really getting out there. I get phone calls. I have people that want to represent me. Um, 
I'm capable of producing probably 125 to 150 gallons of oil a week and that's by myself but that's working just about day and night is I have a very small kitchen um, I have access to about eight pots and uh, I can't do any more than that I can I can actually have four pots of oil going at one time and once they're ready to cool down I can take another four pots get them going and I can produce a lot of oil for for such a small limited space of about a hundred square feet so once again I'd like to thank you for visiting my website um, go back often read the different things it's in a constant state of flux I probably drive my website producer nuts but he loves me so he puts up with my idiocy and uh, my, my sole determination is to provide and put out the best product possible. I don't care about competition. I never look at what they're doing. I only care about putting out the best possible product that I'm capable of putting out. So to keep you happy and to keep you coming back for more, you'll tell your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones, hey, this guy's a real deal. This Bibbs, he's, he's doing something here. So I want to thank you for visiting my website. Um, I'm not polished by any means as far as being able to do a recording like this. What you see is what you get. This is how I dress. This is what I am. So God bless you. Thank you for your time. And I hope to get your order sometime. Thank you.